So I'm here with Connor right now. I'm all suited up. He's going to start putting markers on me so his infrared cameras can capture me when we're actually in the room shooting. Connor, tell me what it is that you're doing it while you're doing it. So we're putting all these markers so that you have at least one or two on each of the major bones on your body. And then these will all be seen by all of our cameras. That grid will track where they are and then fit your computer skeleton into that data. They're just rubber and then on the surface of the marker is just the same reflective material that's on sneakers and backpacks and that kind of thing. Positioning wise on the head, is, it, is there a certain reason why you put Every, them where you're putting them? Yeah, all the markers have a specific position that they go in uh -huh. and some are more flexible than others. So that's just something that a lot of practice teaches you. Did you just turn me into a unicorn? Yes. Now we can see the cloud of data that comes from that scan. And so I'll just go through and identify these points. So now we fit the skeleton into that data. So now that's going to be the 3D representation of Tracy for us. And now Juan can run her through the full range of motion. What we're going to do in the next step is take this human, what we call a source model, and apply it to the character target. So it looks like Serena and I are all marked up and ready to go. We've had our skeletons made, we've done our range of motion, and now we're going to go do some serious fight scenes. <laughs> Let's go! So now we're on the main stage and I'm here with Kevin who is our motion capture supervisor and he's going to give us a demonstration of what the virtual camera actually does and how it works. Kevin, why don't you tell us a little bit about this. Um, this is similar to the camera that was used on for shooting Avatar and what we have is a, a marked camera so you can see the markers just like the markers are in your suit. Mm -hmm. That allows us to track the camera and then we have a display here that allows me to see whatever's in the virtual environment. Your performance is out here on the main stage. All these cameras that are up here are tracking these markers. This is all assembled in the computer. Then we stream it to another computer that's able to, to render the, the 3D environment. We have a very simplified set. So you have boxes that's a proxy for the helicopter. Mm -hmm. These boxes uh, tell you where the corner of a wall is. So that way you have a relationship that you know how the space is laid out. More established sets will build more, more interactive elements so that the performer knows what they're doing or where they are. Being able to render this virtual environment means an actor can do their performance, come over to a monitor, see exactly what they did. And then they can go, oh, okay, I've got to raise my arms a little bit. Oh, I've got to look more manly. And they get immediate feedback on what their digital character looks like. So if, it's not like they're in a complete void. They are while they're performing but then quite quickly they get to understand the relationship between them and the digital character. He is going to be looking around through these ruins with the flashlight. Uh -huh. uh, then a jeep full of aliens comes up and uh -huh. starts shooting at her. Okay. So she runs up and takes cover behind a big rock. And then uh, once she gets shot, your helicopter comes down, lands right here. You'll run over arm in arm with Tracy. Just throw over my shoulder. Throw over your shoulder. And then you guys run back to the helicopter nice and quick. Okay. Jump in signal to go. 